Hey YouTube, what's up? How are you guys doing? In today's video, I'll be explaining side chaining with you guys. What is side chaining? Why do we side chain? And when do we have to use side chaining? So let's say you have a drum kit, um, a normal drum kit like that. So it's a normal um, four step kick, as you can see, and there's just some clips and heads. So if you then decide to have a long sustaining bass like the E flute so this a uh, long sustaining bass it's playing at a low and so if we can just go to the mixer and then the E flute as you can see we have the bass playing around here and let's go look at our kick spectrum then we have kicks playing there so the two are interfering now you want to make room for one of them so that the other one sounds louder than the other but usually we want to make our kicks sound louder than the bass so this is where side chain comes into place so let me just quickly remove those and show you how to do this so what you have to do is you go select your kick go select your e-flute right click on your e-flute um channel uh, track routing and side chain selected to this track so what it's gonna do is it's gonna side chain your kick and take it to the e-flute so it's gonna send the image of the waveform to the kick but not the audio so the volume as you can notice it's still zero so there's nothing that has um, changed on our e-flute and now I'm going to show you the first way to side chain which is using the fruity limiter. So you go load your fruity limiter on your e-flute, go to compression and then side chain and then go select your kick. Now there's still nothing happening. So what you want to do is you want to decrease your threshold, increase your knee and your ratio. So as you can see, there's the image of the kick. Now you want to continue decreasing this and increasing this until you can hear something change. Now this is basically showing that now the, the base is being reduced at those interval times. So when the kick hits, the base is being cut off a bit now you want to continue doing this until you sound that okay this is actually fine for my track but then if you decrease the threshold way too down you can feel that um, where the kick hits the bass is completely removed um, the second way is using what we call cross beat which is an FL studio you just go load um, cross beat So this is crossbit. This method is the most uh, simple method to use. It's very automatic and I don't really recommend using it because what this method does, it, it only works for the case where your kick is a four step kick. So crossbit is gonna automatically cut off the base at each and every four step. So what, what happens if your kick is not a four step? What if you're using a broken beat? Maybe you have a, a a three-step kick or whatever then the side chaining won't be really effective using the cross bit so the, the the way side chaining is here is you go select your side chain on this um, section over here as you can see at each and every four step the the volume of the base is being decreased and those are the waveforms at which the volume is being decreased you can alter them if you want to now let's play the song without the cross bit and then let's turn on the cross bit see now you can alter those volumes to a point where you feel that actually my side chaining is enough and i like it and then you can proceed with the song And if I took those way down, you can hear that when the kick hits, the bass is completely removed. It might not work for your song, but then in some instances, you might want to use that. 
but then it's always preferable to not completely cut down the base. So that's just the, the side chaining using the cross bit, which is very automatic and I don't really recommend it. But then for the case where you're using a four step kick, you can simply use the cross bit um, setting. But then to make it more manual, to side chain more manually, is when you have to use the fruity limiter. Um, there are many ways to side chain, a lot of ways to side chain. Um, if you know of any other way to side chain, just comment below and then i'll definitely check it out i hope you guys learned a lot from this video cheers and stay tuned for next tutorials